My name is Matt Brown. I juried into the league in uh, 1995. I've been over 20 years a juried member. I make color wood block prints using a Japanese hanga method. That's uh, printing with uh, water, multiple block, uh, all with um, hand tools, brushes. My inspiration is mostly um, mountains, the ocean. Mountains are a special place. I think of art as a window on our world. Uh, the craft I make is um, flat shapes, flat carved shapes, and the tension of the flat carved shapes and the depicted pictorial space, that's, that's something that fascinates me. But the League has been helpful. It's offered markets and also uh, guidelines for my work. Uh, it's set up uh, rules, it's set up uh, a standard of excellence, uh, and it's set up a um, wonderful opportunity for conversation and learning with my fellow printmakers and uh, with a great audience. If I'm doing something intricate like some letters, I come in with a knife. Come in carefully like so. I might carve these letters out. I often think of uh, the carving, especially when I'm carving with a knife, as I'm like drawing with the knife. And I might come in like so, carve that shape right on out. All right. So this is printing with water. Um, it's a simple, non-toxic um, printing method, um, which is just pigment, water, and rice paste. And the rice paste I've made um, in the kitchen from rice starch. Um, it's uh, rice, taste, rice paste helps you to control the color. Without it, it's hard to get good, solid, even color. Take a sheet, pick up my barren. So this is printing without a press. The barren and my body are, are the press. It's a wonderful quality of this printing method that um, you pull that print and the color is in the paper. I can touch these prints and it's almost like I'm um, dyeing the paper. The light's finding the color in the paper. That gives it that soft, that soft, nice look of watercolor printing. I've been aware of the League of New Hampshire Craftsmen since I was a kid, but I remember clearly a visit to the League of New Hampshire Craftsmen's annual fair, and I remember saying to myself, wow, maybe one day I could have my own booth at the Craftsman Fair, and uh, that's basically happened, and it's a pleasure to think of that and that connection.